Are you buying or selling a home and you're wondering to yourself, what is a home inspection? Why is it even important? Well, then this video is for you. Hi, Samantha Perlman here with the Perlman Property Group. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about what a home inspection is and why it might be important to you, whether you're buying or selling. What is a home inspection? Well, a home inspection is when a licensed home inspector comes into the home and looks at everything from the top down. They're going to look at it from an objective point of view. They have no preconceived notions on how the seller has been living in the home. They have no preconceived notions on what work or work has or hasn't been done on the home. They're just looking at it as an outsider's perspective. Here in New Jersey, uh, home inspectors are licensed. You have to check with your state to find out if your state um, has licensed home inspectors. Um, but a licensed home inspector has all the proper training and knowledge and expertise and experience to look at many different aspects of the home. According to the American Society of Home Inspectors, these are the key factors in a home that a home inspector will check. They're going to check your heating system, your furnace. They're going to check your um, central air conditioning if you have one and if the weather permits. Here in New Jersey, we have all four seasons in our weather. Um, so during the winter months or in the colder months, a home inspector actually can't turn on the air conditioning. It needs to be a certain temperature for a certain number of days in a row um, above you know, freezing for it to be able to safely be turned on without hurting the system. So keep in mind if you're buying or selling a home in the winter that the air conditioning really can't be tested. And your home inspector will go through that with you. They're also gonna be checking all the interior plumbing and electrical. Now keep in mind, they can't see what's behind the walls. They're only gonna be checking what they can see visually. They're gonna check the roof. They may even be able to estimate how old the roof is. If the seller has not disclosed how old or doesn't know how old the roof is, the inspector can't give you an exact date, but they will give you sometimes an estimate. This way you know whether or not the roof um, can be expected to be replaced in the upcoming years. They're gonna check the walls, the ceilings, and the floors for any obvious damages or defects. They're gonna check the windows and the doors. Do they all open and close and function properly? They're gonna check the foundation. Make sure it's nice and solid and there's no cracks that you should be concerned about. They're also gonna go down and check everything in the basement. That includes any plumbing, electrical, finished or unfinished work, the foundation, and whether or not there's any water intrusion in the basement. Now, as I said earlier, you know, clearly the home inspector's not gonna come in and start tearing out the walls and the flooring and, and all this kind of stuff. They're just gonna go on their visual inspection. So a lot of times a home inspector, if they see something that is a, a possible defect that they're a little bit concerned about, they'll certainly alert you, and then you can bring in somebody who's licensed in that specialty to to investigate further. Before I go any further, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to watch other real estate related videos about buying, selling, or investing in New Jersey, please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell so that you're notified of new videos released every Monday. Now you might be asking yourself, well, who pays for a home inspection? Honestly, either party and sometimes both. I'll explain. If you're selling your home, it's a really good idea to commission a home inspection prior to listing your home for sale. You see, you live in the home. You might be blind to some of the defects that an inspector would see or a potential buyer might see. You also might have known about a defect that happened a while ago and you totally forgot to repair or fix it because it doesn't affect your everyday life. It's okay, we all do it. I'm a homeowner, I've got stuff in my house that I know I need to fix right now and I just haven't gotten around to it. We all do it. So what's really good is if you can mission a home inspection to be done prior to listing, they're going to be able to point out all of the major things that would need to get repaired. This is going to help you in the long run. If you um, fix these items ahead of time and then you have a buyer come in and do their own home inspection, they're not going to obviously call out these items and it's going to help your transaction go a lot smoother and get you to the closing table a lot faster. Now, if you're buying a home, you're also gonna get a home inspection done. Now, in the case where sellers have done the home inspection prior to listing, they can certainly offer you the report and then also tell you everything they had repaired. But I'm always gonna recommend as a buyer that you have your own inspection done. You didn't vet the inspector that they used, so you wanna be able to pick an inspector yourself. The other good thing about a home inspection is that you wanna be able to walk through the home with the inspector and ask questions and really get to know the home that you're buying. A lot of times, once you go under contract, you've only visited 
visited the home once, maybe twice. So this is gonna give you another chance to really dive deep into the home and spend some time in the home. Now, another question I get asked a lot is, how much is a home inspection? Well, that cost really can vary a great deal depending on a few things. Number one, where are you located? I'm here in New Jersey, and in New Jersey, the average cost of a home inspection can range anywhere from $300 to about $800. Now, that big range, you might be saying, oh my goodness, that's a different of $500, why is that? The other aspect of it is gonna be the size and age of your home. And there are also some home inspectors that have different inspection packages. Um, some will add additional inspections um, and additional warranties and guarantees to you if you have a different package. But three to $800 is about what you can expect to spend on a home inspection. Now, if you're a seller and you're looking to commission a home inspection prior to listing, there are actually some inspectors out there that have a special package just for you as a seller, just to look at some of those key elements. So whether you're buying or selling, I suggest calling the home inspection companies, vetting them and asking them, what are they going to charge and what is included in that cost? Some additional costs, in addition to the main home inspection, might be further investigation into other areas or possible defects in the home. Those might include lead paint or lead piping testing, mold testing, asbestos testing, radon testing, and what's common really here in New Jersey are two other forms of investigation that you might wanna do, which is an oil tank sweep, a lot of older homes here in New Jersey were originally built with underground oil tanks to fuel their furnace. And unfortunately, you really just can't leave your oil tank underground anymore, whether it's been decommissioned or not, because there's possible damage to the tank, which could have leaked oil into the ground, which can cause contamination. So you always wanna make sure when you're buying a home that you have an oil tank sweep done. And even if you're selling a home, if you didn't do one when you purchased it, and there's a chance you might have a tank, I suggest you do a sweep and finding that out right now before going too far into the process. So that's an additional um, cost here that's common in New Jersey. And another um, item that's common to inspect both here in New Jersey and I know in other parts of the country um, are septic inspections. If you're purchasing a home with a septic system or well water, you might wanna bring in a licensed inspector for those areas specifically and have them come in and inspect that system, the septic system and your well, make sure everything, um, you know, your well water is tested um, and that everything is good there because certainly those items can be quite costly to repair down the road. So you wanna make sure you're inspecting everything you possibly can when you're there. One last aspect of the home inspection that might cost you a little additional is gonna be your wood destroying insect inspection. Now, some inspectors do this along with the general home inspection. Some bring a separate professional in. But something you definitely wanna ask when you're booking your home inspection. You wanna make sure that you have your whole home um, inspected for wood destroying insects. Typically, that's carpenter ants and termites. You wanna see if there's any evidence of past insects or current insects. Certainly if there's any evidence of past issues, you wanna find out if the seller has ever treated for that um, and taken care of it. And if there's evidence of current, you certainly want that to be taken care of as well. Now, one thing to consider if you're purchasing the home, most bank or lenders are not gonna lend on the property if there is evidence of wood destroying insects. So you wanna make sure in those instances, if there has been treatment that the seller releases that information to you or documentation, or if there's current evidence of an infestation that they get that treated right away. You will not get your loan approved if there's current evidence of wood destroying insects. The last question I get asked a lot is, how long will a home inspection take? Now the average is two to four hours, and that's gonna depend on several factors. Number one, the size and the age of the home. Again, larger homes are gonna take longer. It's also gonna depend on the thoroughness of the home inspector. You know, I've worked with a lot of really great home inspectors that can go through a home really quickly, let's say in about two hours, and hit every major point, and then I can have the same you know, a uh, level of expertise and home inspector go through the same home and take four hours. Everybody kind of works at their own pace. It's also gonna depend on how many questions the buyer or the seller are asking while you're going through the home. If you are a person that has a lot of questions, which is fine, you're allowed to ask any questions that you'd like, that's certainly gonna add to the time of the home inspection. 
The number of defects in the home is also going to affect how long it takes. Certainly the more defects you find, the longer it's going to take because a lot of times the home inspector will be explaining those defects to you as you're following them through the home inspection. And the last thing that's going to affect the timing is how prepared the home is by the seller for the home inspection. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and family. Happy home inspection.